Thank you for joining me again. Now I thought I'd just do this quick video to let you know why I made the decision that I made to like, give up on uh, going to the IPF on the international stage. First off, I'd just like to say it's nothing personal personal against the IPF. It's The main factor really is just I prefer having the freedom to do more things and uh, lift wherever I want rather than just be sh sh tied down to this, this one federation. But again, this isn't meant to be a rant against the IPF, it's just made to be a just to inform you guys were on the decisions that I'm making and what's going through my mind at the time. So, reason number one, I like multiply. So what I mean by that is um, I like equip lifting and I know that's promoted highly in the IPF but that's only single ply lifting and one thing that I'm really starting to want to get into uh, is a multiply lifting. Uh, I've had a few girls with the shirts and the deadlift suits and the squat suits and it's just something that I want to try and uh, see where I can go with it and if I'm with the IPF and limited to the IPF affiliates and federations it's not something that I can do. Secondly, uh, one of my main goals is becoming the greatest of all time uh, and we can do that by getting world records but world records are subject to that one specific federation uh, whereas if we look on the website that I trust uh, very very highly Open Powerlifting that documents every single website uh, every single federation sorry going uh, and my goal is to be the top on as many lists as possible on there and to do that I want to give myself the best possible advantage so positives uh, with the IPF are the kit will be to a strict standard that being you know you know what you're gonna get so if the top of that list is done with the IPF you know well first they're not in any cheeky kit second uh, the referee will be top-notch you know judges will be very strict third you know this the bars and you know you'll have to walk out with a squat cage but why would we want that when we can one use a deadlift bar two use a squat bar three have our own personal handout on the bench with no start command four Use a monolift. Five, a 24 hour weigh in. This means instead of two hours, I've got an additional 22 hours to refeed uh, and make sure I'm that a high and healthy body weight to compete. Uh, this gives me a huge advantage, uh, you know, because I'll cut down to get in the 70, uh, 67 and a half kilo class. But like the last competition, when I actually did the lifting, I'm probably close to 75 than 67 and a half. Whereas in the IPF, when I've really, really struggled to get down to 66, uh, you know, I've been competing at about 69. So, that's another strong reason to be the best of all time. And I want to advantage myself in every single possible way. And I'm not shy about that because it's the honest truth. I'll why would I disadvantage myself? Uh, also adding on to that, uh, with equipped lifting in the IPF single ply, you're stuck with two metre knee wraps. You get an additional metre in some federations and half a metre in other federations. In uh, every other federation you're allowed to wear briefs. So basically, from the waist down, uh, when I go that bottom of the chest down, You've got uh, two squat suits. So two squat suits, just only one pair of straps. So again, that's another huge advantage in becoming the best of all time. Uh, thirdly, again, we'll just touch again on the freedom. Uh, one thing that I'm wanting to do later on this year is compete for the GPC. The GPC is the largest untested powerlifting federation on the planet. So if I can beat all the untested boys, that just again adds to the legacy of being the greatest of all time 
which if you can't tell that is what I want I want the legacy of being the best of all time uh, yeah I, w I want to leave that legacy I want to show people what can be done uh, so I don't really think I want to go into too much more detail but I think that is pretty much it really uh, it is a shame because the IPF is viewed as a larger federation uh, but there's been a few instances where the British uh, affiliate has just been straight up cruel, mean and just unfair and unjust towards, not just me, but towards other lifters. For example, the British Junior Championships just, you're supposed to do this daft checking thing, but just spring that on you with two minutes notice. Uh, me and maybe 10 other lifters out of 40 lifters uh, if you don't check in in uh, next 2 minutes disqualified from competition stupid a large amount of people couldn't set their bench rack out because people were too lazy, busy you know they said busy but I just say lazy having the lunch you know again they're volunteers but they should not be costing lifters the rack hikes because end of the day you didn't manage your time properly. Uh, they didn't let me lift out the men's classic open because I passed out on a deadlift and I've done you know three months of blood work and there's not a damn thing up with me. I'll be showing you a letter on the video when it comes in the post that says from the doctors I am fit, I am well, not a thing up with me. Just because I passed out. I've passed out many a time before. All it means is I gave it my all. That's it. Nothing wrong. I didn't breathe for so long. That's it. You would try it. The same thing will happen. So, I don't like ending on a negative note. So, uh, on the, I want to say, 28th of May. Either way, it's a Sunday before the bank holiday Monday at the end of May if you're over in the UK. Uh, I may be out in Ireland doing a competition, so it'd be nice uh, if, I, if I've got any Irish viewers to uh, be down there watching. I'll be letting people know if there's a live stream so they can watch from over here in the UK. It'll be at, uh, oh, I don't want to say Southside Barbell. It's uh, Shane Brody's gym in Limerick. Uh, for the AWPC, WPC uh, European Cup, uh, I'll be do if I am going there. I'll be doing the multiply deadlift only. I'll be doing uh, the raw uh, bench press and deadlift event, all in the WPC. Uh, hopefully, claim some more world records again. Add to my legacy because that is the ultimate goal. So, leave it on high. I want to thank you for joining me and uh, see you on the next video.